Uh, my name is Melanie Phillips and I'm a licensed doctor of audiology. It wasn't until I was in college. Um, I went to um, Ohio University to become a record producer and I didn't like it. <laughs> um, I took an elective course on speech and hearing disorders and I fell in love with it. I changed my major and I've been doing it ever since. The most common causes of hearing loss are noise exposure, the natural aging process, and medical conditions. Um, the way that we can prevent hearing loss is through protecting ourselves with noise exposure. We can wear ear protection. We can um, expose ourselves to lower le levels of noise instead of blasting our headphones. What someone should expect when they're coming in for a hearing evaluation is first we're going to interview them. We need to know what are the symptoms that they're having. Are they experiencing hearing loss, um, ringing, humming, buzzing, any kind of cricket sounds in their ears? Are they experiencing any dizziness, um, feelings of pressure or fullness in their ears? And then we're going to take a look in their ear canals, check for the wax, see if there's any signs of infection. And then we'll do a test that will measure the ability for the middle ear, the eardrum and the middle ear bones to vibrate properly. And then in a soundproof booth, we'll expose them to a variety of different sounds and they press a button to let us know that they've heard those sounds. 